everyone, Lisa Haven here, and have I got a crucial report to share with you, specifically in regards to the all out abolishment of cash and how the globalists, the elite, and the Bilderberg members are now talking about this on a daily basis. Not to mention the fact that they also are pushing negative interest rates. Now, according to Investopedia, negative interest rates uh, policy, also known as the NIRP, is an unconventional monetary policy tool whereby nominal target interest rates are set with a negative value below the theoretical Laurel bound of 0%. In a nutshell, a negative interest rate means the central banks and perhaps private banks will charge negative interest. Instead of receiving money on your deposits, depositors, that's you and I, must pay regularly to keep their money in the bank. This is intended to incentivize banks to lend money more freely and businesses and individuals to invest, lend, and spend money rather than pay a fee to keep it safe. Hmm, interesting. Sounds like fun. You and I get to foot the bill basically instead of earning money, we pay money to put our money in the bank. And in a nutshell, there's no option to take it out. Well, because cash is abolished. So that means you and I are faced to pay these central banks, these big banks, and these huge monopolies. What a great idea these idiots. But don't take my word for it. According to the latest Bloomberg report, we should abolish cash, well, all because we need a free market. According to the report, it states, want a free market? Abolish cash. If you believe that government meddling in financial markets was responsible for the last recession and the lackluster recovery, you might be right but probably not in the way that you think. What's the fix for this problem? The right answer is to abolish currency and move completely to electronic cash. Because electronic cash can have any yield, interest rates would be able to go as far into negative territory as the market required. Wait, what? Where have I heard that rhetoric before? Oh, I know, Bilderberg meetings back in 2015 talked very highly on this topic. I know because I did a report two years ago on that very thing and I proved through external sources that that was one of the things that was absolutely on the Bilderberg's agenda, which is the all out abolishment of cash. And guess who attended that meeting? Well, if you go to BilderbergMeeting.org and you scroll to the participant list in 2015, you will see the name John Miglethwaite, the editor-in-chief of Bloomberg. And uh, also the following year, fast forward, now he was there 2015, the year that we knew they talked about the abolishment in cash. Now also fast forward to 2016, John once again attended the meeting, but this time with Megan McArdle, the columnist for Bloomberg View. So two Bloomberg members on the Bilderberg board, and what are they pushing on their website there? The all out abolishment of cash and negative interest rates. What is the reason for their logic and their madness? Well, according to the website, they state, Two government mechanisms prevent real interest rates from getting too negative. The first is cash. As long as people can hold currency, which loses its value only at the rate of inflation, they won't buy safe assets that yield even less. The second is the central bank's promise to keep the inflation rate low and stable at about 2% in most developed nations. As a result, people have little reason to hold any asset yields less than negative 2%, perhaps negative 3% considering the cash is bulky and hard to store. In other words, governments, by issuing cash and managing inflation, put a floor on how low interest rates can go and how high asset prices can rise. That is hardly a free market. <sighs> the reason that we have all this mess in the first place is because we have the Federal Reserve. They are the main reason for our problems. Not the fact that we have cash. Cash is a good thing. If you can buy cash and use cash to buy your products, 
do it. You know why? Well, I all of you already know why, but there is no trail on the cash market. They want to monitor everything they, that you do. They want to know where you're buying, who you're buying from, so they can sell your information to multiple different agencies. They want one global central bank to control it all. And obviously, biblically speaking, they want the Antichrist, the one world leader to rule over every tribe, tongue, and nation because they honestly believe this will pull in all peace on earth, kumbaya. That's not going to happen until Jesus Christ comes back with his kingdom here on earth. So for those of you who think that we can have this uh, sha-la-la-la kumbaya life, well, you got another thing coming because it ain't going to happen. Uh, we are a sinful people and we're born into sin and there's a lot of that going on lately. We don't come out of our mommy's bellies when we're born and say, go mommy, yes, I'll do that. Yes, I'll obey. No, we come out of our mommy's belly and most of us, our first word is nope. Now, coincidentally, just as Bloomberg put out their report stating that they wanted to abolish, abolish cash, Janet Yellen also came out and said, well, the Federal Reserve may now have to issue negative interest rates to Americans. Is that a coincidence that at the same time, both of these organizations, Bloomberg says we want to abolish cash and have negative interest rates to make us free. We're already free. That doesn't bring freedom. And Janet Yellen is coming out saying, hey, I think we need to have negative interest rates, you know, because uh, we need more money and we need more control of the people. Yay. Ugh. You know, if we add that to our already burdened society, there is around ish 94 million people not participating in the labor force. And that is according to the website you see on the screen, the statistics that they have gathered. And I'm gonna leave a link to all of this information below so you can check it out and have that information for yourself. But here's the thing, the attack is here and the attack is coming on our cash, on our products. And they want to have that ultimate control. We cannot allow them to have that. We cannot allow them to take those things away from us. And what we must do is we must get somebody elected this year that is going to help us combat those things. At least that is what we need. We don't need Hillary Clinton in office. We don't need Gary Johnson in office either. I know they're pushing him in the media in order to steal votes specifically from Donald Trump. And you know, he is bad news. He is all gun ho and for the TPP, the biggest grab of our freedoms here in the country. And there's so much hidden in copyright crap in the TPP, it's unreal. And he is a candidate that is highly for that. Not only that, but he wants to take away our gun rights. Anyone who take a race, who wants to attack our gun rights shouldn't even be allowed in a presidential office because that means that they're not for the rights of the people and they fear the people. And the only way they won't feel the people is if they take away our guns. Let me say something here. I'm going to keep my guns. You should keep your guns because that is our second amendment right. And I'm gonna fight forever until we get to keep that right and we get to harbor that right. And I know right now, and I did a report the other day, they're attacking the ammo, the gunpowder, the, the nitrocellulose, the wetted nitrocellulose, trying to call an explosive that could have severe repercussions on our ammo. So you may wanna start buying that now, once again, before it's too late. Anyhow, I wanted to bring you all this information straight up so you have it with the sources, with the information, and please share it with every Everyone, you know, get the information out now because tomorrow may be too late. If things like the TPP eventually get passed, you could lose YouTube channels like mine. News reports that are out there. You have Breitbart, Infowars, um, all kinds of, of truthers out there. Uh, the Common Sense Show, uh, who's got an awesome YouTube channel. I'm going to leave it below. He's got lots of great information. Uh, and all kinds of people out there fighting the good fight, fighting against the crime 
corruption and standing against the wrongs and at least just bringing them to you so we have them. But uh, please, please continue to fight the good fight and make sure your voices are being heard. Please get out there and vote in uh, 60 some odd days when we have election time. It's right around the corner and start telling your friends about the corruption of certain people and showing them the real evidence. Now, let me say this also. I don't think Donald Trump is the savior of the world. <laughs> However, I do think he's the one hope, I guess, that we have here in America. And I guess time will ultimately tell. I do not agree with all of his policies. I don't. If he becomes president, I'm sure I will have videos on here talking about some of the things. I personally don't like some of his internet views and uh, all the views on that, but there are things that I really do like. Like he wants to get rid of the 501c3 verbiage that hinders churches from being able to talk about anything politically, including laws about abortion, including laws about homosexuality. They have to keep their mouth shuts now. That's ludicrous and insane. And we shouldn't even allow it to get to the spot that it's at. Nonetheless, I don't want to keep you too long, but I want to say Mwah! and thank you guys for tuning into my channel. And please make sure you check out my sponsors here, uh, www.getthetea.com. It's been an absolute life changer for me, the super strength tea as well as the colostrum, great stuff. If you have any kind of stomach issues or uh, lots of bloating, I would recommend either of those. They're both good and they're both phenomenal. Also check out foodforliberty.com backslash haven. If you're not stored with food, please get stored with food because there could come a day uh, that we're looking at some serious repercussions. And um, Monday, actually I was gonna do it, I'm gonna film it Sunday and we're gonna play it Monday. I'm going to have an interview with Dave at the Common Sense Show. Please look forward to that interview. Spread it around to those. He's got lots of inside information. Uh, but foodforliberty.com backslash Haven. Go there, check it out. And look, if you cannot, people say, well, you know, there's not enough money. I can't buy those. Then, then don't. Pack your own. Uh, I simply use them as a partner here. Yes, it funds what I do. However, don't break the bank. Do what you can do at home. And always the best option, you know, buy extra cans at the at the store. You go grocery store, cycle through them. Uh, other things you can do is pack your own. Usually you can get a bag of rice, put it in a Mylar bag, put some oxygen removers in there, seal it shut with a flat iron, put it in a five gallon uh, Home Depot or Lowe's bag. You can, uh, Lowe's um, container, you can, five gallon container, you could buy a couple bucks. But nonetheless, these are some options you can do and that rice will feed you for a while. Now you'll probably wanna have other supplements and things because surviving on rice alone is not gonna give you all the nutri nutrition that you need, but it's a start. Make sure you're also having other supplies packed and ready. Um, you know, if you're a woman, make sure you have uh, alternatives for you know feminine issues. For uh, men, make sure you are you know, storing medical supplies for your family, uh, water, uh, all these things are necessity. Make sure you have shelter, make sure you have bug out bags, make sure you have transportation in deserted areas. These are things or other options, but there's lots of good prepper sites, so check them out. Also, finally, check out Protovite, my brand new sponsor, as well as the Brain Reward. Uh, my father is on the Brain Reward and he's doing fabulous, like phenomenal. And his brain has just been a buzz. Uh, my son is also taking it and um, he's got delays because we adopted him from Bulgaria. So he's his brain has really been set ablaze. And he says, it's easier for me to think, mommy, I can think better. And so, and I've been giving him, you know, uh, six, seven a day, and he is doing phenomenal. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning into my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. Lisa Haven signing off.